In this tutorial, I want to be showing you how to pair fonts and what are some good practices when you're pairing your fonts. So I'm in Illustrator here and you can see here, I've just got a few examples. And the one thing that you want to focus on pairing fonts is contrast. You want to have two fonts that are contrasting to each other. And typically when it comes to design, you don't want to use more than three fonts unless you're doing a creative artistic type of style um, or visual style for a specific project. Other than that, you only need like two to three fonts max. So typically when I pair, I always try and find for that contrast. So you can see a couple examples here. SS Nixon, it's got like this nice sans serif font with a bit of texture roughened on the edges there. And it pairs nicely with the other font, which is um, SS Nixon 7, which has a nice script and it flows nicely with that font. And it's got similar thickness as well, which is cool. Another version as well, you've got American Auto and American Auto Script. So this is all one font, but it's got multiple versions. Um, as you can see, and I'm just going to turn my filters off there and you can see that the different versions there. So nice and thick and bold and then a cool um, script. And then once again, another script with a sans serif. So typically I like script and sans serifs or you want to use a sans serif with a slab serif or even a normal serif. Um, but just remember contrast. You don't want something to overpower it, but you want to have a nice hierarchy. So when it comes to hierarchy, you can see when you want, you typically have a main header, you've got a body text, and then you've got um, other texts where it could be like a caption or a quote or other things like that. But typically you have like your header, a subheader and a body. And this is a good example of a using TT norms here for a bold headline and then using a smaller headline, um, Jansen URW regular. And obviously I can make this smaller and it's still going to look good because it's a classical type of font. So that's just a design tip as well. So always use hierarchy to guide your decision, especially when you it's client work. Think um, what are you going to use? Like what should be first? What stands out as a headline? Because sometimes a script might feel too feminine for your headline and maybe you need something bold. So you can see here, there's this um, nice TT barrels. It's like a serif slash slab serif type of font mixed with a sans. Um, sans serif, so you can see TT norms again and uniform regular. So all these mixed together, it's very balanced and it's nice. Another example here, instead of having a more of a um, serif blocky style font, just a simple sans serif mixed with a subheader slab serif and then a body. So it's like you're cooking up a meal, you know, you want to add the ingredients, but you don't want to go too far off and use the wrong spice. You want to sort of mix things that go well together and it just comes by experience and practice. So I did a quick example of some free fonts because I have a lot of paid fonts um, here, but you can see he just made up some quick little companies. So this one is Bebis New, that's a free font mixed with uh, Blackjack. This Blackjack does have of a signature type of feel, so um, there's probably a better choice than this, but I think it works nice. This one down here is Allentine and the font is Acrobat. So some of these fonts can be find, found on Font Squirrel and also Font Fabric is another good site for that. And then Swiftly, this is Roboto Black with Roboto Thin. So what I typically use, I try and find fonts that have multiple styles because then I can just use that style. So um, this one has Thin, Bold and Black and other fonts like, for example, if I use my uniform font, it's got black to really thin like this and I can also change it to lowercase as well to mix it up so you want to find fonts that have many many styles so those are two Roboto and I'm slotting it nicely in the space there to keep it square and then down here we've got um, Adele or Adeli as the main font and then I'm using Acrobat again semi bold for the little um, tag there so that's just a quick example then I add some color just to make it nice. And this would be a typical word mark type of logo, for example. So that's just an example of how you can mix up different fonts and pair fonts without going too overboard. But remember two to three is typically the best. And it's it's just from my experience that I find it really helpful. So thanks so much, thanks so much for watching the tutorial. Hope you have an awesome day. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button and hit the bell as well. So you get notifications on all my new tutorials and videos coming out every week. Appreciate you guys. Take it easy.